We're in Gordon Parks High School in the gym right now. We're doing a project on the light rail being put on university. We're photo shooting and uh, interviewing older people that lived around university. We're like interviewing the seniors in the community and getting their intake on it because they've lived here the longest. Our goal is to tell the stories from before, during, and after the Central Corridor development. The first stage of the project, it's when we learn about the memory of people who live on University Avenue, the memory of the development of 94 through the Rondo neighborhood. In the 1960s, the development of Interstate 94 cut right through the heart of the Rondo neighborhood, uprooting many families and businesses. Some of the people along University Avenue are looking to Rondo's history as they prepare for light rail construction in the neighborhood. There's a lot of stuff about this area that I didn't know. Like, I didn't know there's streetcars and a lot of stuff that I didn't know that we wouldn't have been able to learn otherwise. I think it affected the kids pretty well because they weren't, didn't realize what was done during the uh, streetcar time and at that time, they didn't realize it. And it affects me because I like letting them know how things were at that time. To meet um, people from the community who want to tell stories and want to meet young people, that can really change the way they see their community. It can make them proud of a community that right now they just endure. I lived kind of by university most of my life, so hearing a lot how what happened when they were younger, it was like that's nothing even happened nowadays. Like people used to hang out in university, just walking around, talking on the streets and stuff. I just couldn't see myself just standing on university, just chilling. It's kind of interesting here how their lifestyles were compared to people in my generation. Teaching photography to the young people here at Gordon Park through studying film and uh, digital photography. We're basically giving them photo skills to send them back out into the community and also to document the building of the light rail on University Avenue. So for the fourth day in a row, we took the kids out to do some street photography. We will have an opportunity to just walk up to total strangers, young, old, man, woman, and just say, hey, can I take your picture? And once you break that ice, you still have to think about photography. I need to get down low. I need to feel comfortable enough to ask the subject to move to the left, move to the right. So many things are happening. And, you know, and that's why I love street photography, because I think it's about community. I think it's about humanity. But I totally like the photography class. Like, I've always thought about wanting to become a photographer. I'm really glad that I learned photography and Mr. Kvetchi helped a lot because I've always wanted to get into photography but I haven't really had like the resources to get a camera and go out there and shoot and I really did and I was really enjoyed it. The interviews and photos gathered throughout the project will be added to an interactive website. There will also be portraits of one senior and one student at each stop. The entire website will be the light rail as a navigational bar. At each stop you get off, you will be able to hear the stories and the lies from past and present of an elderly, a student, a community center, a church, a business, and a random person. Oh, it's, I've been enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun. Working with the elders has just been really fun and it opened my eyes to another point of view. It was just really great getting to know everybody and like getting to know the surroundings. I just feel like in like 10 years, it's gonna be cool to like look back. They're gonna be like pictures and like interviews and stuff like of the before effect. So I think it'd be cool just to have this as like being a part of history, you know?